Hello and welcome to Lorbeck Luxury Cars. I'm Harry and today I've got a very, very special guest for this edition of the Friday Drive. A very close friend of Lorbeck Luxury Cars and presenter of Channel 10's hit show, RPM. None other than Kate Peck. Hi. Hello. How are you doing? I'm pretty good, I'm pretty good. Now, have you been looking at our stock list recently? Yeah, I have. I've been having a little bit of a perv and um, there is one particular number I have my eyes strongly on. Okay, and which one might that be? It might actually be the Corvette Stingray. Well, the miracle of film means we've got it sitting right here. Stop it! I know! Just mind-blowingly hot. Look at this mint colour. Like, it's, and it's just, it's in prime condition too. What are these lights? Can we talk through the lights? The pop-up headlights. I mean, everything about this car is so iconic. When you think of a Corvette, you think of the Stingray. And there is no more iconic car, particularly an American car, than a Corvette. And this one has got to be one of the best ones going around, particularly in Australia, where we don't see many good examples left. Yeah, so it's a 66? 66, original left-hand drive, original two-speed power glide automatic, and original 327 engine. It's totally original came from California and it's just been maintained and restored lovingly by its very particular owners ever since. Oh, it's automatic, how bizarre. That's what makes it easy. I mean, right. who can be bothered with manual anyway? Oh, such a waste of time. I know. So anyway, let's stop talking. Let's just go out for a drive. What do you think? That sounds like a pretty sweet idea, Harry. Perfect, let's go. I'm a bit of a late breaker, I'm not gonna lie. If you can scare me up, I wouldn't be against it. <laughs> yeah, this is amazing. This is gorgeous. It's got a bit of it's got a bit of power. Where are the indicators? Is that the indicator? That's yeah, the that's indicator. an indicator. We put down and it actually goes somewhere. Not bad. And how cool is it looking through that dash? It's like you're in a submarine. The, the, a boat perhaps. It's very comfortable. It has a nautical feel to it. Yeah, it does, doesn't it? Well in the colour as well. So what are the impressions here? Are you a Corvette fan or are you not? I'm a huge Corvette fan and considering this is the first time I've ever driven one, I'm really quite surprised and pleasantly taken aback. If I was to save a pretty penny, what would I need to be forking out for this bad boy? Funny you should ask that. Well the price we've got on this is 178 Mates nine, rates, nine, mates, mates rates, rates, mates rates. 177 <laughs> 990 will make it. It will turn into a Dutch auction. So I could buy so, this now if I had that cashola. Do you take checks these days? We take anything, as oh. long as it doesn't bounce. To accept it. What about my firstborn? What well, about like an interest-free loan? <laughs> firstborn coming up. Mm. There'll be many a babysitting duty for you, Harold. <laughs> 
I do that at work every day anyway. <laughs> a few years ago, these this car would have been about $60,000, but they've gone up rapidly in price. So it's not so much about what the price is today, it's what the price is going to be in a couple of years' time. The 60s are generally the most collectible years for the Corvettes, aren't they? The Stingrays. Well, there are many variations. Every year they change a little bit, but the one you want is the Stingray. And that's exactly what this is, and it's an original California car, left-hand drive, original engine, and original transmission. You knew I had good taste. Very good taste, the finest taste I could possibly think of. Yes. Feels a bit sort of, um, actually it feels a bit Miami, doesn't it? Sure does, actually. Probably should be in a Cadillac then. Next time, we'll come in a Cadillac. But right now I'm busy frothing over this sexy piece of machine. I'm going to press the horn at some stage because I want to hear it. Oh. <laughs> Let's try and avoid that one. <laughs> I don't want hate mail. So, have we sold you the car, or are we going to have to save it to someone at home to buy? No, the car? it's mine, Harry. You can't take it away from me. If I cry, will you give me the car? Um, I'm a bit cold sometimes, but I, it, it's, there's only one you way to find out. You're a prick, Harry. <laughs> I am a bit of a prick. You were a prick. So, what are we going to drive next time? Okay, well, what, what's something in the for collection? me to work on. Well, you name a car. Let's see if we can work it out. Oh. Look, I wouldn't mind a Jag E-Type. Have a V12, a Forks, yep. an early one, what's of the V12 yep, one? Yep, V12. Okay, so keep an eye out on Lawbeck TV and everything because very soon you'll be seeing the two of us, well mainly Kate, driving around in a V12 E-Type, so stay tuned. I'm not sure when it'll be or how we're going to organise it, but being Lawbeck, we manage to organise it all the time. We'll make it happen. Miracles do happen. Miracles do happen at Lawbeck, as you well know. So. Stay tuned and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.